getting better. You're not hungry. When I was little, I got ill. I didn't want any tea. And I hurt all over. What's wrong? I don't feel very well. Oh. Mummy took my temperature. Oops, you're a bit hot, Teg, said Mummy. Let's get you to bed. I didn't feel well. Hello? When Daddy came home, he came to see me. Are you OK? You OK, Teg? Just got a bit of a temperature. No, I said. I don't feel well. Wooly cuddled in beside me. I fell asleep. When I woke up next morning, Mummy looked at me in a funny way. I know what's wrong with you. You've got chicken pox. I see what's wrong with you, Tig, said Mummy. You've got chicken pox. I look like a speckledy thing with little red spots. We'll have to get you better, said Mummy. In the day, Mummy read me lots of stories. My spots itched. Mummy put nice cool stuff all over the spots. I even had spots in my mouth. Mummy gave me lollies. Mummy made me lots of mashy meals and sloppy drinks. This one is Bernard. Bernard and <laughs> At night, Mummy gave me puppet gloves to wear so I didn't scratch. I like my puppet gloves. When Daddy came home, we played. We built things on the table. Every day my spots didn't itch. Quite so much. Oh, no red. Soon I was painting and drawing and doing things myself. Sometimes I felt a bit better. Sometimes I didn't. One day Mummy said, Tig, I think you're getting a bit better. Would you like Angel round to play? Tig, would you like Angel to come and play? Yes, please. And guess what? She's got chicken pox as well. Yeah. <laughs> Angel's got chicken pox too, said Mummy. I was excited. I got all my toys out for Angel to play with. I played jumping from cushion to cushion. Suddenly, I didn't feel well again. I didn't want to see Angel. The doorbell went. That'll be Angel. There's Angel. I don't want to see anybody because I don't feel very well. No, I said. I don't want to see Angel. Hey, Tig, getting better can take a long time. Sometimes you feel up, sometimes you feel down. Sometimes you feel wobbly. Sometimes you feel strange. Getting better is like doing everything for the first time all over again. Whee! Like walking in the street. Or going back to school. Or seeing Angel again. But every time you do something new again, You'll feel a little bit better. So go for it, Tig. Say hi to Angel. It'll make you feel like your old self again. Yes, I thought. I want to be my old self again. You've got spots. I want to see my friend. I want to get better. Angel and me played. When Mummy saw Willy with spots... <gasps> oh! It's only a toy spider. Oh. I like getting better. <laughs> ben, 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 ben. I love Willy. Subway. When I was little, I liked going on the subway train. Willy likes going on the subway train too. It was fun going down under the ground. It was scary and exciting. When the train rumbled and roared out of the tunnel, it squeaked and hissed and stopped. It was like magic when the door slid open and we got on. I was so happy rattling and shiggling through the tunnels 
on the subway train. I love the subway train. Wooly loved the subway train too. One day my friend Angel came to play. We played subway trains all day. We drew pictures of subway trains. We made tunnels for the subway trains. Wooly pretended to be a train. How about you build tunnels all around the room and then you can be the subway trains? Yeah. yeah. Mummy gave us lots of old sheets and blankets. We made tunnels all over the place. We hooted and went through our tunnels. Sometimes we bumped. Mummy likes our fun. Who wants to go on a real subway? Who wants to ride on a real subway? Before we left, we played sliding doors. Thank you. subway trains all the way to the station. OK, we have to be sensible now. We're going to go on a real subway, so no more playing. When we got to the station, we played sliding doors. No more playing, oh, said Mummy. But me and Angel were having now, fun. Then okay. Mummy stopped us. She no stood between play. us okay, we so we couldn't play. Come on said Mummy. Going underground wasn't fun anymore. The subway train wasn't exciting. There was no magic. Mummy had spoiled our fun. Hey Tig, it doesn't seem fair when someone spoils your fun. It's not nice when someone stops your game. But there are some places where it's wrong to play. There are some places where you need to take special care. The subway is no place to run around and play. Everywhere on the subway, things are moving. The escalator's going up and down. Trains arriving and leaving. Doors opening and closing. People coming and going. So Mummy isn't spoiling your fun. Mummy is taking special care of you and Angel. But hey Tig, that doesn't mean you can't still have fun and enjoy the ride. Just sit back and relax. No need to play a game when you have all the fun of a real train. Go for it Tig. Say sorry to Mummy and no more train games until you're home again. Yes, I thought. Mummy was right. A real subway is no place to play. Sorry, Mummy, I said. Oh, thank you, Tig. <laughs> Mummy let me and Angel sit together. We had fun on the real subway train. Just looking and shiggling along. When we got home, we played subway trains again. When Mummy saw Willy, she nearly <gasps> fell over. It's only a toy spider. I like subway trains. And I love Willy. I can't see a couple up there. Quiet. When I was little, my mummy took me to play with my friends. We walked through a wood to the playground. Willy came too. We get to the special clearing. The wood was quiet. The wood had trees. The trees were tall. I liked looking high up in the trees. They touched the sky. When the wind blew, the leaves swished. When the wind stopped blowing, the leaves stopped rattling. And it was very quiet. Some leaves had fallen off the trees. We walked on the leaves. Hi, hi, can you kick them? I kicked the leaves. Mummy kicked the leaves too. We kicked the leaves. It was fun. We made lots of noise. When we stopped kicking leaves, it was very quiet. On the way to see my friends, we heard a roaring noise. There was a waterfall. The water fell over 
and rushed and gushed into a river. The waterfall made so much noise, we shouted. When we left the waterfall, it was quiet. We climbed steps up a little hill. Timmy and Louise and Angel should be here soon, said Mummy. From the top of the hill, we could see a ship in the trees. We made lots of noises. Timmy! Angel! Has a way! Is there anyone there? When we stopped shouting, it was very quiet. We found some planks. We'll wait here, said Mummy. Timmy, Louise and Angel will be here any minute, so why don't we wait here for them? I didn't like waiting. It was quiet, very quiet. I didn't like the quiet. Hey, Tig, the quiet can be boring. And the quiet can be scary too. The quiet can make you think there's nothing there. But the quiet isn't quite as quiet as you may think. Shh! You just have to listen a little more. And when you listen, you can hear lots of friendly sounds. A bird singing. A pigeon cooing. Dog barking, woof woof. The leaves tinkling in the breeze. A twig breaking. <laughs> That's your mummy. So go for it, Tig. Have fun in the quiet and listen to all the different sounds. You might even hear Timmy and Louise before mummy does. Yes, I thought. I listened to all the different sounds. <laughs> and then I heard the sound I'd been waiting for. Mummy, I can see a Timmy, Louise and Angel. <gasps> right, let's go and find them then. Hi! Hi. Angel, Timmy and Louise. Hello! <laughs> we explored all the adventure playthings. We made lots of noise in the woods. <laughs> There wasn't any quiet while we played. When Whirly slid down the slide, Angel's mummy got a shot. It's only a toy spider. When we walked home, it was quiet again in the wood. I like the quiet and I love Whirly. Thunder! When I was little, I liked big loud noises. Willie liked big loud noises too. Some big loud noises made me laugh. Some big loud noises made me jump. Some big loud noises made me shout at them. Fire! Fire! I like making big loud noises too. But one noise I didn't like was thunder. Mummy, Daddy! Thunder scares me. No one could stop Thunder. Not even Daddy. You're quite safe. One day, Daddy took me and my friend Timmy yeah. to play in the park. It's looking a wee bit stormy. Thunderstorm? Maybe a thunderstorm. I didn't yeah, like Thunder. Come on, said Daddy. On, we'll go ten pin bowling instead. I forgot about Thunder. Put them here. I'd never seen yeah. ten pin bowling before. Right. There were lots of big loud noises at ten pin bowling. <laughs> I liked the noises. It was exciting. Did you know who's winning? The ten pin bowling was a game. When the ball got to the end of the lane. It hit the pin with a big, hey, loud hey guys, clatter. Watch me. The more pins that fell over, the bigger and louder the clatter. If you knocked over all the pins, it was a strike. It was the biggest clatter ever. We all played together, but the ball was heavy. So Daddy got a special rolling machine just for me. 
We tur turns toward the ball and see how many pins we could knock over. Sometimes none. Sometimes one. Sometimes lots. And push it. We never knew how many pins were going to fall over. When Daddy got a strike, we cheered. Ten pins clattering over. Hooray! Ten pin bowling was so much fun. When I went home, I forgot the stormy weather. I played ten pin bowling before bed. That night, I woke up. There was a big, clattering bang. I thought I was at the ten pin bowling. I wasn't. It was thunder. I was scared. I hid under the bedclothes and cuddled Willy. Hey, Teague, no one likes thunder. Thunder can be scary. You never know when the bang will come next or how loud and clattery it will be. When you don't like something, think of something you do like. Tim Pin Bowling! Wait for the flash, roll the ball, and see how big the clatter will be. Flash! Roll the ball and... Clatter! I think we knocked over about five pins then. Flash! Roll the ball! And... Clatter! That was a strike! Ten pins! Hooray! So go for it, Tig! See how loud the next bang will be! Yes, I thought! Thunder is scary, but not quite so scary when you have fun with the bangs! You okay, Tig? Daddy came running into my bedroom. He thought it was funny that I was playing ten pin bowling with thunder. Oh, oh, oh. And then I I don't like thunder, but I like ten pin bowling. And I love Willy. Fireworks. When I was little, I went to watch fireworks. We went to Timmy's house. Willie came too. Timmy had a garden. At the end of Timmy's garden was a park. We are going to watch the fireworks in the park. I should really be doing the fireworks. Timmy was very excited about the fireworks. I wasn't excited. I didn't like fireworks. Timmy had animal masks. He ran around whipping. I had a cat mask. I went meow. I like playing at Timmy's. <laughs> Mummy was excited about the fireworks. <gasps> I think everyone's getting a little overexcited about the fireworks. I wasn't excited about the fireworks. But I like playing at Timmy's. We did painting. We painted firework pictures with big bangs and whooshes. I like the firework pictures, but I didn't like fireworks. We played funny games. We played blow the grapes. We played bite the jammy scone. We played pop the raisin bag. The bag went bang. Like a firework. I didn't like fireworks, but I like eating the raisins. The fireworks didn't start until it was dark. When we waited for the dark, Daddy told us a story. Daddy told the story of the three bears. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Bernard. Daddy loves. Oh. Daddy got the story of the three bears all wrong. And she started to eat the bears. Cabbage soup. Porridge. Por oh, right, porridge, right. When the three bears came back in, they caught Goldilocks and she was watching the television. She was sleeping in the three bears' bed. Oh, is that what it was? Right. Silly I daddy. I know, dad's really silly, isn't he? Then it was dark. 
Time for the fireworks, said Mummy. I want to play hide and seek, I said, and hid under the table. Everyone was excited about the fireworks. Come on, Tig, you make us all late. I wasn't excited. I didn't like fireworks. I was scared of fireworks. Hey, Tig, just because everyone else isn't scared of fireworks doesn't mean that you can't be scared. Fireworks scare me. The bangs, the flashes and the whizzies. Fireworks scare lots of animals. Dogs and cats hate fireworks. So when the fireworks start, the best place for animals is indoors. So maybe when the fireworks start, the best place for you and me is indoors too. Then the fireworks won't seem quite so scary. And then we can look after each other. So go for it, Tig. Tell everyone that you don't want to watch the fireworks outside. It's too scary. Yes, I thought. I'll tell Mummy and Daddy and Timmy that I don't like fireworks. Don't worry, Tig. No worries, said Timmy. We can watch from the window. So we did. And I cuddled Willy. Watching the fireworks from inside was fun. The fireworks whizzed and whooshed and painted the sky. When my toy spider heard a big bang, he jumped. It's only a firework, Willy, I said. I like fireworks and I love Willy. Echoes. When I was little, me and my friend Timmy went to visit a castle. Willy came too. Daddy knocked on the door, but no one answered. Oops, I think I got the wrong time. We'll come back later. Let's go and have a wee play. Come on. The castle's closed. We have to wait. The castle had a big, tall tower. Up there is the castle tower. Yeah, soldiers used to be up there. That tower's for soldiers, said Timmy. Timmy marched like a soldier, and I copied him. Time to march into the castle, said Daddy. A man opened the door for us. Hello, can we come and see the castle? Uh, yes, please come inside, yes. Come on then. Thank you. Inside the castle, it was empty. Just walls. It smelt funny. And this is... I see the fireplace. The fire would rise and smoke would come out the chimney up there. Be careful on the steps. Timmy found a little room. It was a friendly little room with cupboards on the wall. I wonder what's in this door. I liked the little friendly room. Look, there's a wee window, right? Can we go up the tower, please? Can we go up the tower? Said Timmy. Of course, said Daddy. Timmy opens a big door. Ooh. I heard a woo. I didn't like the woo. Daddy said the woo was Timmy. It's just an echo, OK? Don't be scared. I didn't like the echo. I was frightened. I ran back to the little friendly room. Hey, Tig. New things can be scary and strange. And there's lots of new strange things in a big old castle like this. Strange smells, strange rooms and strange sounds. Hey Tig, that woo sounded strange. That woo sounded scary. Woo! But that woo was just Timmy having fun. In a big old empty castle like this, sounds sound different because they echo. Cooey! It sounds like someone is copying me. No one's copying me. That's just my echo sound. I made it. And you can have fun making echoes too. Woo! 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 So go for it, Tig. 
There's no woos behind that door, only the woos that you and Timmy make. Yes, I thought. No need to be scared, just silly echoes. Come on. I wanted to go up the tower. Daddy opened the door into the woo room. There were no woos. Until me and Sammy had fun making woos. We made lots of other echo sounds. Hello! Then Daddy took us up the tower. We went up some tiny stairs that went round and round and up and up. At the top of the stairs was the top of the tower. Timmy marched round the tower. When Timmy saw Wooly, ah! he was a scaredy woo. Tell me a toy spider. I like the old castle. I like funny woos. I love Wooly. Excited. When I was little, I went to a festival. Wooly came too. The festival was like a long fairy tale land. Some people were still like statues. A man floated. A mermaid smiled. A man was so still. A seagull sat on his hat. I was excited. There was a noise like a vacuum cleaner. The man blew a big bag and played a tune. I did a wee dance. I was all excited and bubbly inside. There was a man in the middle of the street. The man juggled. The juggling man asked Daddy to hold the ladder. Then the juggler climbed the ladder and juggled. Everywhere, everyone was so excited. People dancing, people singing. But the most exciting thing of everything was my friend Angel. Angel was there too. I was so excited. I wanted to cry and laugh. I wanted Angel to bubble like me. I hugged Angel hard. But Angel wasn't excited. Mummy said, calm down, Tig. Mummy took me to listen to a lady playing music. I don't want to listen to the lady. I think we're all getting a little bit overexcited. I wanted to be excited. Mummy was spoiling the fun. Hey, Tig. Mummy's not spoiling the fun. Mummy is a bit worried, that's all. It's fun being excited, but it's no fun being too excited. Being too excited is like bubbling over. Being too excited is like not knowing whether to laugh or cry or jump up and down. <laughs> Being too excited can be scary. Scary for everyone. Being too excited can make the magic go away. So sometimes, when you are bubbling up with excitement, it's fun to stop for a moment. Be still, as still as a statue. It's magic and fun for everyone. So go for it, Tig. Have an exciting or magic time. Yes, I thought. I like to be excited, but I don't want to bubble over. Well done, Tig. You seem a lot calmer now. Come on, let's go and have some fun. I had fun 
being a statue. Angel played statues too. We were very still. A lady as still as a statue. So Willie, she moved. It's only a toy spider. It's only my toy spider, I said. I like exciting magical days. I like bubbling inside. And I love Willie. Big stomps. Look, must have a great wife. When I was little, I went on a holiday. We went on a boat to the holiday. I liked the boat. Willie liked the boat too. At the holiday, we lived in a caravan. The caravan was like a little house. My friend Angel and my friend Timmy were on the holiday too. There were lots and lots to do at the holiday. There was a swimming pool with a bridge. Every day there was showtime. Mr Tonka played the piano. Daddy was funny and said nonsense. For your delectation. Mummy did a poem about a cat. The owl and the pussycat went to see. I like showtime. I made two puppets. Bernard and Bumpy. Bernard and Bumpy danced. <laughs> Everyone laughed. There was a big room with lots of games. Mummy and Daddy played a funny game called badminton. They hit a feathery thing. I wanted to hit it too. I couldn't hit the feathery thing. OK, you ready, Tig? Oh. It's cross. Tig. Daddy looked cross too. Angel did skipping. I wanted to skip like Angel. I couldn't skip like Angel. I was cross. Angel looked cross too. Timmy played another game, table tennis. I couldn't hit the ball. I was cross. Timmy looked cross too. Hi, Tig. You OK? No. I was cross. I was making everyone else cross too. Hey Tig, there's nothing wrong with feeling cross. You're just feeling cross because you can't do some of the things other people can do. Skipping like Angel. Skip, skip, skibbity woo. Playing the badminton game like Mummy and Daddy. Pip, pop, pip, pop. Pip pop, playing table tennis like Timmy. Ping pong, ping pong, pingity pong. But one day, when you're older, you'll be able to do all those things and lots more. But Tig, there's lots of things you can do now. You can make people laugh with your puppet shows. Hello, I'm Bernard. And I'm Bumpy. Hey Tig. Go and get rid of your cross feelings so they don't hurt anyone else. Go and have a good stomp. Then have fun making everyone laugh. <laughs> yes, I thought. I don't want to make anyone else cross. I shall have a stomp. I stomped into the ball pool till I was laughing again. At showtime, I made everyone laugh with my stompy dance. When Mr Tonka saw Willie, he got a fright. It's only a toy spider. I like making people laugh. I love Willie. 
sleepover. When I was little, I went to stay with my friend Angel. Hi, Angel. Oh. Mummy says, anytime you want to come home, just tell Angel's mum. See you tomorrow. No, I said, I want to stay the whole night at Angel's. I'm sleeping in Angel's room. I put my pyjamas next to Angel's pyjamas. Look what I'm wearing today. Angel showed me my bed. It was very tiny. Angel said it was a magic bed. I can't sleep there. It's a magic bed. Then we went out to play. Angel's toys were different to my toys. Angel showed me how to hula hoop. At tea time, Angel's mummy made me my favourites. Fish fingers! We sat and climb up chairs in the kitchen. Angel's kitchen was different from my kitchen. I liked Angel's kitchen. <laughs> All finished. After tea, we played with Angel's dolls. Angel's dolls were different to my dolls. Ready for bed, said Angel. Angel and me had a bath together. After bath, we cleaned our teeth. Angel's mummy helped me clean my teeth. I liked Angel's mummy. When we went into Angel's room, magic. Ping! My tiny bed was big. I could see Angel in her bed. Angel's mummy kissed me and Angel. Night night. Night night. Angel and me chattered. Angel stopped chattering. The room was quiet. I looked at Angel. Angel was asleep. I want my mummy, I heard my voice say. I looked outside. Angel's mummy was watching television. I felt sad. Mummy might miss me. I wanted mummy to kiss me night night. Hey Tig, feeling sad shows how much you love mummy. Mummy will miss you too. But Mummy wants you to have a big adventure. Mummy wants to have the fun of giving you a big, big hug when you come home again. Mummy wants to have the fun of hearing all about your time away. But Tig, you can go home whenever you want. Angel's Mummy won't mind and Mummy won't mind. So do you want to go home? Oh dear, you're not sure, are you? Hmm. So just for now, pop back into bed and count up how many kisses your mummy gives you every day. Then count up how many kisses you give to your mummy every day. Go for it, Tig. Yes, I thought. I won't go home yet. So I counted how many times Mummy kissed me and I. I woke up. It was daytime. I had slept all night at Angel's Angel, house. Angel, wake up. Angel, wake up. Ah, it's only a toy spider. I like staying the night with Angel. I love Willie. Museum of Imagination When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Timmy to a museum. Willie came too. There were lots of things to look at. Everything was old. Some of the old things were shiny. I could see my face. The shiny things looked new. But Timmy said the shiny things were old. That car might be very shiny, but it's very old. Timmy knew lots of things. 
Timmy showed me cars in a traffic jam. Those cars are in a traffic jam and the lights turn green, boom, off they go. Timmy said, when the lights turn green, the cars will drive away up the wall. Boom, <laughs> off they go. I waited for the cars to go. Beep, beep. But they didn't. What Timmy showed me bicycles on the ceiling. Timmy said the bicycles were in a race. No There's one. a bicycle race up there. They're going to race round and round. Whee! I waited for the race to start. But it didn't. There were some big steam engines. The wheels were taller than me. Timmy showed me how to shovel coal to make the fire in the engine. Timmy showed me a flying train. That train's going to take off and fly around the room. Timmy said the train will blow its whistle and fly around the room. Woo! I waited for the train to fly, but it didn't. Outside there was a big boat. Timmy got very excited. That's a really old sail ship. Timmy told me the big boat was an old sailing ship. That sail ship's full of pirates. What's pirates, I said. Pirates have patches, they wave swords, they jump, tumble and they sail on big ships. Ha <laughs> ha! I don't want to go on the sailing ship. Why don't Tig and I go and do something else and you two go on the ship? I didn't want to go on the old ship. It was scary. Me and Mummy drew pictures. Timmy and Daddy had fun on the sailing ship. Hey Tig, Timmy knows lots of things, but Timmy doesn't know everything. Nobody does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but sometimes Timmy can make things sound a lot more exciting than they really are. Mm -hmm. Timmy has a big, big imagination. And that's fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So the cars won't really drive off up the wall. The bicycles won't really race round and round the ceiling. And trains don't fly. Timmy looked at the big old sailing ship and imagined pirates sailing the ocean. But any pirates would have left a long, long time ago. <laughs> so go for it, Tig, and have fun on the old sailing ship. Hey, and Tig, no worries, the ship won't sail away, only in Timmy's imagination. Yes, I thought. Mummy, can I go on the sailing ship, eh? I want to see what it's like on the old sailing ship. So I went on the ship. The only pirates on the sailing ship were Timmy and me. Timmy's pirate was a scaredy pirate. He ran away from Wooly. And all the other spiders! I like the old ship. I like Timmy's imagination. I love Wooly. The painting day. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Angel to a painting day. Wooly came too. Are you having fun, Angel? I was excited. I liked painting. We painted lots. That is such a good picture. Do you need to go to the toilet, Tig? No, I said. I wanted to paint. Angel looked funny. She got paint on her nose. Your nose! Let me clean your nose. Let me see. And then I thought, I do want to go to the toilet. Hey, girls, come and have a look at what I've seen over here. Come on. But Mummy said, Come and look at this. There was a man doing pictures of people. I'll hold Willie. The man did a picture of me and Angel. We had to sit very still. But I wanted to go to the toilet. Take, are you okay there? Do you need the toilet? 
No, I said. I was too excited about the man's picture. That's Angel. The man was very clever. Yes, yes, please. He made Angel and me look real. Daddy said, come and look at this, Tig. I was so excited, I was hoping. Oh, I think you need the toy right. No, I said. I wanted to see the funny picture. It's funny! A lady was going to stick our pictures on a wall. I jumped up and down. Are you sure you don't need the toilet? Yes! Do you want to go to the toilet? Mm, yes, I said. The toilets were big. There were lots of doors. Lots of basins. Oh! Wind machines? No. No what? I didn't like the toilets. I sat next to Angel and waited for the lady to stick up our paintings. I didn't want to go to the new, big, smelly toilet. Hey, Tig, you're right. You have to be happy going to the toilet. Sometimes new is strange, but you might find you like this new strange toilet more than you think. You just need to give it a go. It might smell funny, but that's because there are lots of different smelly things to clean toilets. It might have lots of doors, but that's because there are lots of toilets to choose from. It might have lots of basins, but that's because there are lots of hands to wash. Woo! It might have noisy dryer machines, but that can be fun too. Woo! They're just like a hairdryer stuck on the wall. In the end, we all need to go to the toilet wherever it is. And we all have to flush it before we leave. Whoosh! Unless it flushes itself, and that's even more fun! Whoosh! Oops! So go for it, Tig! Have fun exploring the new toilet! Yes, I thought. I wanted to go to the new big toilet. After the toilet, I washed my hands with lovely smelly squirty soap. Then I dried my hands with a hand dryer. The lady stuck up her pictures. When the lady saw Willie's picture, she got a fright. Oh, I love Willie. Here we are. The beard. When I was little, I went to play with my friend Belle. Hello, how are you? Willie came too. Not at all. Belle's house was big. There were lots and lots of rooms. We went exploring. There was a staircase to go up and down. There was a garden too. We saw Belle's big sister, Ruby. Ruby jumped on the trampoline. Belle showed me lots of places to hide and jump out. Then we played hide and jump out. Belle had a little brother called Finny. I played cards with Finny. Belle had mummy called Anne. Anne was kind. She gave us a drink and a biscuit. <coughs> Belle had a big sister called Lottie. Lottie had funny clothes. Some fancy shoes. Me and Belle dressed up. Are you trying on my clothes? Lottie laughed. <laughs> Mummy came to take me home. No, I said. No. And I ran away with Belle and Willie to hide. Anne said to Mummy I could stay for lunch. Okay, have all the time. Bye. Bye. Hooray! Yay! I like being at Belle's house. The boys are not always a pig. 
Look at this, boys and girls. Pastry's never always the way you think it's going to be. At lunchtime, Anne made an apple pie. A bit more? Belle said apple pie was her favourite. You do? I said apple pie was my favourite too. Oh dear, said Anne. Daddy's going to miss the apple pie. Tell me you think it's nice. Oh, I thought. I didn't know Daddy was coming to lunch. Daddy's home. Hi, guys. Hello, Tink. A man came and sat at the table. The man didn't look like a daddy. The man had hair all over his face. Ooh, apple pie. Special treat because Tink's here. Mm. The man looked like a bear. I didn't like Belle's daddy. I didn't like my apple pie. I wanted to go home. Hey, Tig, not all daddies look like your daddy. This daddy looks different. This daddy has a beard. This daddy's not fierce. He's just a bit hairy like a big friendly teddy bear. He doesn't look like a friendly teddy bear. Then just imagine he is a big, friendly teddy bear. Look at him. Blink. And ting! He's a big, friendly teddy bear. I looked, blinked and ting! Belle's daddy was a big, friendly teddy. Then I thought, how could Belle's daddy eat his apple pie if he's only a teddy? Poor Belle's daddy. So I looked, blinked, and ting! Hooray! The teddy was Belle's daddy again. There you see, Tig. Belle's daddy is just like a big, friendly teddy bear. So eat up your apple pie. No more worries. I think it's really, really nice. After lunch, when Belle's daddy saw Willie... No. He was scared. It's only a toy spider. You're a toy spider. Thank you so much. When Mum collected me, I told her all about Belle's dad having a beard. I like going to play with Belle. I love Willie. The party. When I was little, I went to a party with my mummy and daddy. Happy birthday, Timmy. <gasps> Don't forget Willie. Willie came too. The party was for Timmy's birthday. Angel! My friend Angel was there too. And there were lots of children. The party was in a big room. <laughs> there was a funny man called Josh. Good afternoon, boys and girls. My name's Josh and I... Josh had a flower that squirted water. <laughs> we're going to do the hokey cokey. Josh showed us how to do the hokey cokey. We all joined in. You do the hokey cokey and you turn around. <laughs> That's what it's all about. <laughs> Pin the tail on the donkey. Pin the tail on the donkey. And Mummy tied the scarf so we couldn't see. I pinned the tail on the donkey's nose. Everybody laughed. It was funny. A big boy was clever. He pinned the tail just where it should be. Well done! Josh had a hooty horn. OK, musical chairs. Let's go. Go! We played musical chairs. What? What? On you go. Oh, oh my goodness! There you go! Oh, 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 hard luck. Touchy, touchy. Got a winner! Well, a big boy won. Time for juggling. Josh juggled sweetie packets. Oh. I like Josh. When he draw one, he gave the packet to me. Daddy made a big parcel for pass the parcel. When the music stops, you open the parcel up. When the music stopped, the parcel stopped and was unwrapped. The parcel never stopped at me. 
I never won any presents. Oh, Sophie! I didn't like the party. I didn't like never winning. Right, everybody, time for birthday cake. Come on. I didn't go for tea. Come on, Teg. You're going to miss the birthday tea. Come on. Hey, Tig, look at this. Where will the button go? Where's the button gone? There! Yeah! Well done, Tig. Winning feels good. That's why it's fun to win. But, Tig, in party games there's often only one winner. So that means you lose more times than you win. Not everyone can win all the time. It's fun that others win too, and fun just playing the game. Angel hasn't won, but she's having fun. Josh hasn't won, but he's having fun. You haven't won, but you had fun pinning the towel on the donkey's nose. Hey, Tig, parties are full of surprises. Join in and find the next fun surprise. I wanted more surprises. I ran for tea. I helped Timmy blow out his candles. I saw Josh Willie. It's only a toy spider. He's only my toy spider, I said. I like parties. I love Willie. First day. When I was little, I loved going to my nursery school. <coughs> Willie liked my nursery school too. At my nursery school, I had my own place to put my coat. My nursery teacher is called Claire. I like Claire. Sometimes I play by myself. Sometimes I play with the other children. Sometimes I'm so busy playing that I have to give Willie to my teacher, Claire. Claire always puts Willie somewhere where he can watch me playing on the messy table. Doing my writing. Playing with the sand. Having fun with water. One day, a new little boy came to my nursery. Everybody, this is Rufus. Claire told us the new boy's name was Rufus. Rufus didn't seem very happy. Rufus didn't want to play. Claire gave Rufus some toys. Rufus just looked. When we went out to play, Rufus stayed inside. At story time, Rufus sat by himself. He didn't want to sit with me. There once was a fluffy yellow chick called Charlie. Charlie. Claire told us the story of Charlie Check. Charlie loved his mummy and he loved cuddling up underneath her warm, feathery tummy. I like the bit when Charlie Check is frightened of the outside world till he hears the chirps of the other chicks. We all chirp like Charlie. Rufus seems sad. Rufus made me sad. I'm cross too. What was wrong with Rufus? Hey Tig, there's nothing wrong with Rufus. He doesn't mean to make you sad and cross. Rufus feels just like Charlie Chick. Chip, chip. Rufus has left the nice warm feathers of his home 
and come out to a new strange place. Now you know all the other children, but Rufus doesn't. You know the games, but Rufus doesn't. You know Miss Claire, but Rufus doesn't. Rufus feels lonely and Rufus feels sad. When you first came to nursery school, you had me. So if Rufus had me to help him for his first day, maybe he'd feel happier. Hey Tig, we'll make you feel happier too. Go for it. Yes, I thought. I'll give Rufus Willy for the day. Rufus likes Willy. And we went outside to play together. The next day, Rufus came to the nursery with a teddy called Ed. Rufus was happy with Ed. When Ed saw Willy, he was scared. It's only my toy spider, I said. Rufus likes nursery school now. I love Willy! The fun fair. When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Angel to a fun fair. Willie came too. Inside it was very, very big. Inside it was very, very noisy. I've never been to a fun fair before. Angel liked the fun fair. Angel was excited. Light flashed! Round about went round and round. Chair flew up in the air. People were bounced up and down. Noises came from everywhere. Right, girls. What ride do you want to go on first? Angel wanted to ride on everything. Who wants to go on the alligators? Me, shouted Angel. Mummy took Angel on the alligator. I watched with Daddy. The alligator whooshed and whooshed. Angel squealed. Angel loved the alligator. It was very, very noisy. Who was riding the Dodgems? said Mummy. Me, shouted Angel. I didn't want to ride in the Dodgems. They were too noisy. Mummy took Angel on the Dodgems. The music went boom, boom, boom. The Dodgems bumped and bashed. I didn't like the Dodgems. Angel loved the Dodgems. Angel wanted to go on the teacups next. You want to go home, Tig? I know. Let's go and wait in the cafe for Mum and Angel. Daddy took me to a little cafe. There's your juice, Tig. I wanted to go home. Hey, Tig, Funfairs are noisy. Funfairs worry me too. I never know where the noises are coming from. Music, squeals, whizzing and whirls. I never know which way to look next. Hey, Tig, fun fairs are fun places and you can have fun here too. I like to know where all the different noises are coming from. Doof, doof, doof. <laughs> look, that's the rock and roll music from the Dodgems. Whee, woohoo! Squeals are from the flying chairs. Honk, honk, ting, ting, dilly, dip, beep, bop, beep, bop, zob, zob, ding, ding, wee, wee. That's the little roundabout. <laughs> the glittery, clattery noises is the cup and saucer. Hey, Angel's having fun. That dancing music is from. The carousel roundabout with the horses. So now you know where the noises come from. Have fun. What's first? Doof, doof, honk, honk, diddly ding, woo, woo. 
Now I knew what all the noises were, I want to have fun. Can I go on the roundabout, Daddy? Honk, honk. I went on the Hong Kong roundabout with Angel. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. We went on lots more rides, but best of all was the carousel. When the man saw Wooly, he said, Oh! He's only my toy spider, I said. And off we went. I like riding on the carousel. I like the fun fair. I love Wooly. Swing Park. When I was little, my daddy took me to the swing park. Oh, we dropped Wooly. Wooly came too. On the way, daddy kicked a ball. Oh, oh you got it! I kicked the ball too. <laughs> at the playground, we ran around looking at all the things we could play on. The slide was very tall. Three, two, one, take it rolling! Yay! <laughs> I bounced on the springy seesaw. Daddy bounced on the springy seesaw too. Daddy and me jumped on the trampoline. Willie jumped too. I swung round and round in a basket. Lullaby baby. Daddy swung in the basket too. <laughs> what shall I do? I swung in the ropes. Daddy showed me what to do. Daddy was so funny, he hung upside down. It's parts for children, you know. Oh, sorry. A man with a dog told Daddy that the playground was for children. Daddy said sorry. After the man with the dog, Daddy didn't do funny things. Then Daddy pointed. There's Angel, he said. Who's that over there on the seesaw? Angel! That's your friend. It was my friend Angel. Yeah, but then I saw Angel was playing with some other children. I didn't know them. I wanted angels to play with me. Daddy said I should go and ask to join in. No, I said. I felt left out. Angel was playing with new friends and not me. Hey, Tig, you've always got me to play with. Watch me. Hey Tig, it would be fun to join in Angel's game. Are you worried she might say no? So, why not ask Angel and her friends to join in your game? And your game is sliding Wooly down the slide. OK! Whee! Yeah, I said, grabbed Wooly. Said to Angel, come and see Wooly slide down the slide. Yeah, said Angel. We all slid Wooly down the slide. Whee! Come on, one, three, two, one. Then we all ran off together to pull the bell ropes. Bang, bang, ting, well. Daddy found Willy. Ah! It's only my toy spider, I said. I love playing with my new friends. I love Willy. Sharing. When I was little, my friend Angel came to play. 
I like playing with Angel. She's fun. See you later. We played people. We played sliding. We played jumping on the cushions. We. I liked playing with Angel. She makes me laugh. Why don't you go and show Angel your room? Mummy said, Tig, why don't you show Angel your toys? I showed Angel all my toys. The orange came on fire. <laughs> I'm making soup. That's in, that's in the soup for baby's pool. I did like Angel holding my doll. It wasn't Angel's doll. It was my doll. I didn't want Angel to play with my toys anymore. I put Willie to bed. I put all my toys in my little house. We shouted, shouted, shouted! Shush! What's going on? I want to go home. Oh, of course you can, Angel. Let's go and ring your mum. Oh dear, said Mummy. That's sad you're going home so soon, Angel. Did Tig not want to share her toys? No. No, oh dear. And we went to ring Angel's Mummy. Oh dear. Hey Tig! It can be a bit funny seeing someone play with your toys. But Angel's your friend. Now she's gone. Whee! Hey, Tig. That's a big jumble of toys in there. That'll take some sorting. Shame there's no one to help. The good thing about sharing your toys is that your toys can suddenly become new and fun again. Maybe if you say a big, big sorry to Angel, she'll come back and play and you can have fun with your toys again. I didn't want Angel to go. She was my friend. I said sorry to Angel. Angel, I'm sorry. In a big, big way. I gave Angel Wooly to play with. <laughs> Angel said she would stay. Angel had Wooly under Mummy's work. Here's a candy. My toy spider, I said. <laughs> I like playing with Angel. We played and I shared my toys. <laughs> They're like new toys again. I love Wooly. Timmy's monsters. When I was little, my friend Timmy came to play. Timmy can draw monsters. I can draw monsters too, but they're not as scary as Timmy's monsters. Timmy can roar like a monster. Roar! <laughs> I can roar like a monster too. <sighs> I like monsters. I like Timmy's monsters. Body monsters, hairy monsters, blue monsters. <laughs> And lots of red monsters. We had fun stomping and roaring. I think if the monsters were a little quieter, they might have some juice. 
I love monsters. When it was time for Timmy to go home, he gave me lots of his monsters. Thank you, Timmy. I love Timmy's monsters. And night, night time. At night time, I put Timmy's monsters under my bed. At night, the monsters roared. Ra, ra, ra. All right. The monsters woke me up. Oh, there are no monsters. They're just pictures, look. Mummy said the monsters were just pictures. No more monsters. <laughs> Mummy took Timmy's monsters away. Will they want to be cuddle? Good girl. And left the light on. I cuddled Willy. The next day, I wanted to play monsters. But Mummy had phoned the monsters in the bin. I asked Mummy for my monsters. Mummy, can I get my monsters? No, Tig, they're too noisy. Please. Mummy said the monsters were too noisy. They're just pictures, I said. Mummy said, OK. But no more roaring tonight in bed. I showed Willy my monsters. I didn't think Willy liked my monsters. No, Tig, I just don't like monsters at night. They wake me up. They wake us all up. Hmm. So, Tig, why don't we make your monsters just daytime monsters? Yeah! <laughs> One daytime monster. Now, at night, all the monsters need to go to bed. So we make the monster a nice comfy bed. <laughs> one comfy bed and one monster asleep. Night, night, monster. Sleep well. Night time came and all the monsters were put to bed. Night, night, monsters. Look. Night, night, monsters. There they are, all going to bed, all tucked up, ready to sleep. Mummy was about to sit on the bed when she nearly sat on Wooly. It gave her a surprise. What was that? <laughs> I'm a toy spider. You're a toy spider. Night, night, Mummy. Night, night, Wooly. That night we all slept happily. I like my daytime monsters. I love Willy. Hey Tig, 